So we get B-A-T-E Beresov. And we've got some injuries and suspensions to deal with. Oh, I think this is coming off the rail. I feel like the same's coming off the rails, ladies and gentlemen. All the way. Or off the rails. So, Doolin suspended. Amir, who has had a... Um, he's got a hernia for six weeks. Watford and Bristol City have come in and offered like 6.8 plus. Like it got almost to 10 million. I'm like, I really want to keep our best players. And the rest of the squad seems to be with me. So it was kind of convenient he got hurt, to be honest with you. Dempsey's still out for another three to five weeks with a broken lower arm. Daryl Devine is suspended. Derek Conway is suspended. And he's coming along quite nicely in the uh, complete wingback department. I mean, his tackling is pretty poor, but like, it's been good for him to have it, have, have games. Like we've played him a little bit here and a little bit here because Mick hadn't shown up yet. But now Mick's here and Mick's going to get a start in the Champions League. Welcome welcome in, Mick. You got two league starts, and now we're throwing you straight into the Champions League. Sean Finn, Patrick Slavin, Vitaly is going to have to start. Um, He's slightly better than Nick, so I'm hoping he can do the job. Putting him on wing back. Uh, but Nick is there. Nick is more match sharp. I'm I'm hoping this level of team that we're playing, we can play a guy at 73% match sharpness and be okay. Cathal Devlin, Jason Byrne. The reason I'm playing Jason, so that's kind of central midfield defend and support, is I promised him more games. He looks quite unhappy about that grumpy face. Man, can we get some smiling folks? Um, and he's happy with it, but I want to make sure he's happy with it. And he just got sus he, he got a double yellow in the previous game. Uh, in the league, so he's not going to be able to play next game. It doesn't matter. We, we've got one day left to make sure he gets one more game and he feels good about life, so we're going to start him today. Um, Witty, Gleason, Thompson, Tony Burnt, who is three-star. He's not really improved. Um, I think we've kind of like... I mean, I'm not complaining. He's got 16 and 16 on a 766, but it's... he's. I feel like he... I'd be curious if I had the editor loaded, if I could look at his potential ability versus his current ability. I bet it's really close because he's not gone up and he's gotten all the playing time. Compare that to Matthew McElroy, who continues to improve. So, and they're the same age. He's got 14 and 8 subs and 8 starts, which is, of course, the order that you mentioned that in. You don't say 8 starts first. Um... So we got Adich on the bench. He seems to have calmed down after our little snafu. Okay, he's all right. He's all right, lads. He's going to start the next league game. Okay. Harry White, I, because I, I need to play Burn. We can play Gleason, the uh, advanced playmaker. Devlin is the support. And then next game, Harry can get a start. I still love me some Harry freaking White. I love him. I love him. He's so good. We got some interesting transfer stuff going on. I've offered 1.5 million plus 30%. For Jade Mobalua, a 17-year-old French Congolese, Congolese striker. He's about to turn 18, but I got him on a hot prospect for like three and a half grand, which is way too much. But I was like, you know what? He looks pretty good. He's promising. Can we give him some exposure? He's got high potential in comparison to our squad. He's not nearly as good, right? Like, we've got other options. But I'm hoping we can get him, you know, have him play with the under 19s for a season and then loan him out you know and build up some some opportunity there um my friends you'll notice look at this just just look at that okay i offered 150 grand a month plus 9500 his wages a week i started at 50 grand and then went to 100 grand a month and then to 150 grand and they said no and i was like fine like i I, I can offer you no more. I'm not going to pay more than that. I'm not going to give you more than... It was essentially like a million for a half a loan. That's how much I was willing to do to help Steven Seddon get some exposure so that someone will buy him or play him. And they weren't biting. And so I wish him the best of luck. I have done what I can. I've played him 26 caps. He's got five goals. I have done what I can. I do want to show you. I forgot to show you this the last time. Nathan Meredith came in in the, the uh, what was it, the Slovakia game. 
and got another goal. He says seven caps with six goals. Are you serious? What a legend. What a legend. Okay, that's enough rambling. Uh, it burst, uh, we've had 6.5 going to 8.75 for Bristol City and somebody else for Patrick Slaven. It's been a shaky summer, we will say, my friends. A shaky summer. I'm going to check our mic audio. Yes, mic. Actually, I'll, you know what? I'm going to pause and go look at my previous recordings. We're wearing the same shirt, obviously, and, and just make sure. Okay, we're good. Off we go. Off we go, my friends. Nobody wants Paul Russell. I've not even registered him. I mean, they want him, but they just don't want to pay his wages. So he's probably just going to leave on a free. Or, or I've, I've, I don't even actually think about it. He, he's, he's here for another season. I can't get rid. Can I just release him? I got. I could, but then we're gonna have to pay him. I don't want to do that. Like if you're just gonna, say, he was down to two star. Now he's back to two and a half. Make up your mind. And he keeps going down. So maybe maybe the rest of our squad is going down. I don't know. We're gonna underlap here. Oh boy, we got Ellis between the sticks, my friends. Welcome back, Ellis. They're playing a five three a two. Interesting. Should be able to take advantage on those wings there. Let's go, boys. I'm feeling I'm for feeling it. We're in Fuego. We're at home. We need to get off to a good start. We're playing attacking. We're not changing anything else aside from doing this. Because we should be able to, with our overlaps and underlaps and all the laps, um I would think with again, with one defender, right? On the wings. I know they've got five and a three but if we can get past I, I could just point on the screen i suppose if we've got two players on each side trying to take advantage of the wings you'd think we'd be all right he says before we lose four nil i'm really excited about the champions league spots though tourney burn terrible terrible one-on-one -on -one with the keeper with the with the extra champions league spot for cork city well we mm, will i remember we'll, we'll try and check in on them vitale to gleason what a ball forward from the advanced oh how did he miss Two clear cut chances. Oh, I can't believe he's on a 6.7. It should be worse. That was a wonderful ball. Oh, Gleason on the advanced playmaker. He's like, yeah, you always play as a Chukarista, but I can I can be a playmaker, mate. Maybe we'll play him there. I don't know. Thompson. Pings one in. Witty. Oh, wrong foot's the keeper. Oh, Burn can't finish. Surely that was a half chance. We've been on top of it early days, just haven't been able to find the back of the net. Kuster. Long to Thompson. Play it forward. Play it forward. Play it. Oh, I was a little behind. You got another option. You got two options. You got three options. Oh, geez. Three clear cut chances. Seven on target out of eight shots. And we've yet to find the back of the net, my friends. Nervy times here at Gray Hair Gaming Arena. Look at the fans at the other end. There's like 100 people. We sold like 4,500 tickets. So it's exciting, right, that we get to play in our own stadium. I know it's not the group stage. That's 8,000, but. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get through this season and be like, hey, think of the tickets we could sell. Oh, that was, oh, that was a cheeky little chip there from uh, Burdett. Oh, our goalkeeper's nervous. I must, I'm, the demand, I want to say praise. We just haven't found the back of the net. Like, we've, it's been a long time since in the first 30 minutes we've created three click out chances and make that three and a half, my friends. Daniel freaking Thompson. We've extended Daniel. By the way, I don't think I told you that. He's just good. I just, he's good. I like him. Burdett gets a Champions League assist. Way to go, mate. Way to go. Coming in for the suspended player. We literally don't have another player that can play right back. I mean, White could play right wing back like inverted. But uh, Derek Conway has been our complete wing back. And then he's suspended. And Andrew Doolin is suspended. So, like, we're, we kind of just need him to go the full 90. Burn, stop complaining, mate. You've been asking about playing time. I'm giving you a start here. You get knocked around by, by some guy in yellow. Come on, mate. Oh, he's got a two-foot lunch. Now, oh, that's good. You know, run backwards. Excellent. Excellent. That's good. That's what we want to do when we defend. Run towards the player and then turn around. And then... <laughs> I'm really kind of disappointed. Um, I'm just going to say, don't think the job is done. Um... I think you can do better from all the chances that were created for you, Tony. Tony. I'm like, do we get rid of Tony? He's been great. McElroy is better, though. Uh, it's kind of, I'm not sure what to do. 
Like if we could get some stud striker, I'd, I'd probably do it. I'm going to take, he's not doing it, mate. I mean, he's had chances. Y I expect Vitaly to have the wisdom. He's got the mentals to not get sent off. And if he does, then I don't know what we do. This is weird. I feel like I've gotten a little loosey-goosey with the money, but like we're now at a point where we could do that, and that just feels it feels odd to be participating in. I would really like to get a second goal. I'd really like to not concede. To be honest with you. If he's not gonna play, still gonna be a six month, we're gonna we're gonna bring him in. We're gonna bring him in. Boys and girls. Woody's on a six point five. We're gonna take him off. We're going to get aggressive here. I'm going to confirm that, but then I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to say overlap. I know it's a lot of instructions, but I'm just saying. Maybe maybe we'll just take it off. Play your play your natural game, boys. I, I could have chosen that, but I didn't. I never choose that. Devlin's on a 6.4. You know what? That's what we'll do. We'll, that's what we'll do. We'll do this because you want the inside forward to get the defender there. White can come on and roam, and you go back to being a trecarista. So you get a, kind of another great passing playmaker. I already shot it, didn't I? This is disappointing. To be, I mean, we got a backup keeper, but that's that's not impacting our ability to score goals. Oh, that's poor. Okay, there you go, White, McElroy. I mean, we created three and a half chances. Or debt. What's he got? Can he get another assist, Thompson? I fall him! Oh, mate, he just stood there. He's like, oh, it's at my feet. It's at my feet, boss. Oh, we don't need to do that, but we're gonna try. Don't concede. Don't concede. Oh, no. We got 32 shots, 12 on target, three and a half chances. I know I've said three and a half chances like 4,000 times, but it's what I'm feeling. It's what I'm feeling. In fuego, Patrick Slavin. Nice. Gleason plays it to McElroy. Takes a lovely touch. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. That's I see that on Twitter all the time. That and you hate to see it. I don't understand the context. I'm too tired to. Oh, we're gonna watch this one again. Look at this touch. Look at this. Gleason drives, passes. Book. Oh, what a, was that outside of the foot? Oh, that was. That was delicious. I don't care who you are. Three clear cut, two half chances. Thompson. Oh, stop the fight. Oh, he's dead. It's f oh, but you can see my undershirt. How you doing? My undershirt's slipping out there from my polo shirt. I don't know why I draw attention to that. You probably couldn't tell, but there's somebody at home that was like, that one of the three to four hundred of you that watched this were like, saw me. That's a much more comfortable victory. Just don't concede here at the end. There's enough time for this to go bad with, a, with an away goal. Burn to Burdette. Burdette chips it. Okay, it works because of mistake by, I guess, the center back. McElroy! McElroy with the 10 finishing! Are you serious? Yes! Remember when I signed him and you guys in the comments were like, ooh, 10 finishing. I mean, I agree. I, but I kind of look at the 10 finishing like I do with uh, Gary Hayes Ward. Like, he, he didn't have amazing finishing, but he was a stud. So... At least, at least at this level that we're playing at, it's, it's worked out. Thompson, oh, I can't catch up to it. 4-0. Okay, it's more like it. I was a little, not gonna lie, a little nervous there. I'm gonna say, way too freaking go, Let's uh, Let's see if he hates this. Passionate. Doesn't care. Hey, mate, you just came in in the second half and did a hat trick. Yeah, that's what I do, boss. We should look at the stats. Oh, he's up to 11. My mistake, sir. I apologize. That was insulting. It just went up. 10.4 to a 10.8. He's not even really actually 11. It's just rounding. Come on. Okay. Bangala that we've... I thought about bringing it back. I thought about... But he's getting... You got a, a qualifying start. Africa Cup of Nations. Two subs. He has been getting time. We'll see what he looks like in the first half of their season, which is right now. Because obviously they haven't started back yet. Will he continue to get playing time? Because if he will, I'm good with him going until next summer. We'll bring him back. That kind of gives us time to sort things out. I told you I was going to look at um, Quark City. Oh, 
Oh, it goes into effect next season. So they're in the Europa League. Right, lads. So they play SC Petrokub from Moldova. That's coming up. We'll see the result of that before our next game. Okay, let's go back then and see who the other teams are from the last season. Limerick fans will be happy about that. They're doing all right, lads. They're doing all right, considering, holy cow. Um, UCD, how you doing? Okay, they beat Tartu JK Tamika. Yeah, it's Finland? No, Estonia. I was just guessing. Um, <laughs> Waterford, schedule, got past the balls on youth. Nice from Malta. This is big. This is money for for our team, our leagues. This is good stuff. Derry City. Uh, uh, hmm? Why does it say? Oh, that's that's now. That's it. See, I think that's the thing I'd like to see change in Football Manager twenty uh, FM twenty. Right? Is this is you, you now get five spots total now, but not last season. Like, is that that hard to say? Like last season, it was this. I'm just saying. Okay. We're going to hop forward. Uh, th th these are the results. I don't think I've ever gone ever I, a couple times. Um, I haven't shown them to you recently. But we'll go play Shamrock. We'll be back to play the away leg. I don't know what just happened there. UCD 2-1, Derry City 1-0, St. Pat's 3-0. Beat Athlone Town in the Leinster Senior Cup final. They had a man sent off the 86 minute. Didn't impact the game at all. We didn't score afterwards. 5-0. Look at the referee was a little tad busy. Got a little aggressive. Lumerick with a 4-0. Waterford with a 6 0. We've been smacking them in, my friends. Let's go. Sean Murphy. I don't know how to fix this. Sean Murphy. Yet again, has been sent off for a double yellow when I've told him to ease off tackles. Hello. Um, now, I understand that our system has extremely urgent closing down and all that kind of stuff, but Sean, mate. Like, he's got good decisions and anticipation and tackling. Like, I expect better. I expect better, mate. I just do. I just do. Um, but he plays today. Uh, I say that. Wait, wait, that was against Shamrock Rovers 2-1. He got sent off the 49th minute. Good thing we just scored. It was ugly. Ugly game. A lot of rotation. Trying to keep guys fresh. Richie Carr, our freaking 17-year-old, has had two starts, conceded two and a 6.8. He's loving it. He's loving life. Look at that determination. He's loving life. We have, we're have we like goalkeeper university here. and Goalkeeper and center back university. That's what we develop right now. That's what comes out of our academy. I like it. I like it. This is how we're lining up. Might shock you a little bit. Here's my thinking. We got to get used to this, right? We're awkward with the mentality. Like we're not used to any of this. So we got to get used to it. We've got a four goal lead. And then we should be th through to the next round. So we're going to get our players playing in this system. So that when we get, hopefully, to the group stage and we need to play defensively, we're more used to it. That's what I'm thinking. I've not done this in the other other seasons, but we had a four-goal lead. I'm just saying. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. They're going 4-4-2. Prove a point, lads. I'm just, I'm not going to say anything else. We're going to leave it. Um... Yeah, Ellis. It's all about Ellis. It has nothing to do with the defense and the attacking options in front of him that are, you know. It's definitely about the goalkeeper. Yeah. Yeah. Did I tell you that the, the Wonder Kid goalkeeper signed for 55 grand a week? Did I say that? I don't remember if I ever said that to you. It's in my notes. Yeah, he went to Everton for, for 55 grand. Which I guess he was right that, um, you know, we wouldn't be able to meet his demands. I suppose... Our scout, because our scout said something like seven and a half to eleven or something like that, and I was very confused because like we just got done scouting him, so how could that be wrong? But I think what happened was the scout report came back, and then he immediately got like four offers from Premier League clubs, end of contract, and he was kind of like, "Ooh, money, right?" So it's like, "Yeah, I'll wait six months to do the end of contract thing when I can join you for that much, right?" So I think that's kind of what happened there. Oh, not bad finish. I mean, attempt, I should say. So I think that's. That's kind of what that's kind of what happened there. Only our scout had gotten there a little bit faster. I think it was a Marty, Marty Waters fine. He's doing really good. He's come along quite nicely in the scouting department. 
Of course. You got a bruised ankle, mate. You're fine. For your double yellow, you're not going to play in the next league game because you got a red card right from the from the double yellow. So you're going to play today. Thompson, oh, right leg finish from the left-footed winger. Tenth goal of the season. Patrick Slavin gets an assist. Now they get a score six. GG no re, my friends. That's what they're saying. That's what they're typing in. That's like, uh, that's some Dota StarCraft for you right there. I mean, Dota comma Star. GG no re. Anyway, maybe that's just me. McElroy, what's he got in his locker? He's got Sean Flynn, who is... Why are you playing... Why is Sean Flynn there? Woody with the rebound off of his... He, he intentionally hit the post. Sean Flynn is a right back. Yeah, he's, he, he's right center back. What's he doing over on the wing? No one knows. We'll never know how we how he got over there, my friends. What else can we talk about? We're gonna I'm gonna show this to you because it's a Champions League game. You guys have been emphatic in the comments, and I appreciate that about like, no, you should show us Champions League games. That's important. It's important. The cash money is important. The getting through to the next round is the most important to get to the big cash money, right? I'm gonna see at the end of the season if we can expand the stadium. I wanna see what what our attendance looks like. Um Keep going, lads. Sean, suck it up, bro. You got a bruised ankle. You're fine. Here. Like, can you take an ibuprofen at halftime? You know, something like that? Here. Deal with the swelling. Have a good one. It'd be amazing if we had a clean sheet with our backup goalkeeper. I would I would agree with, with that for sure. Um... Roy, is there anybody we want to... You know what? We, we, can, we can rotate people. We don't need to be playing our starters. Let's get Ross a game. How you doing, Ross? Yeah, yeah. You like the support? Hey, let's go attack, you crazy lad. You crazy lad. We could bring in... Uh, you know what? We will. We'll bring Conway in and the uh, complete wing back because he's got to work on it, right? So we're going we're gonna to give him a chance to get some reps, you could say. Mick, I appreciate you. We need you fresh. So... Let's let's let the young lad go out there. Go on, have a have a have a good time. Here's the juice box. You know what we're gonna do? Oh, you know what we're gonna do? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna risk our clean sheet. We're gonna bring in Richie freaking Carr is gonna come in. I know I said we were working on formation stuff. You know, 75 minutes for the backup keeper is enough, and now we've got the backup to the backup keeper, right? The thrill of his life. He's one star, three star potential. He's probably never going to actually like start for us. Like I'd like to loan him out, like we have the other guy that we sent to Affluent Town, you know. And we did with Ellis at Dundalk before we needed him to come back because we got rid of Janadu. Uh oh, uh oh, save it, mate. Oh, you gotta save. Oh, he comes out. What a legend! Sure, if you stayed around for this, I'm I'm happy for both of us. Um, hey, mate, we're gonna give you a Champions League debut. He's like me. Can I call my mom first? Mom, turn on the TV. I know you didn't think I was going to play. Oh, Ross Moffat, fourth goal of the season, gets a Champions League goal, the Scottish product. The middling midfielder. Lovely stuff there, my friends. Oh, we're playing defensive. I'm just hoping we've worked on our understanding of the formation. That's... That, I mean, five shots on target. We, we did our part, right, to keep it out of the back of the net. <laughs> Is he not through? I mean, he should be straight up. He may. You, you got a Champions League debut. I think it's his debut. Is it his debut? That'd be kind of hilarious. If, yeah. You get two league games. You come in as a sub in the Champions League. I mean, what's not to love about that? You know, what is not to love about that? That was good stuff. I, that made it worth it for me. I'm glad I thought of that. Way to go, me. Y you got a boo-boo. You're fine. We get a uh, Polish team, Jagiellonia Bielostok. That's exactly how you say it. Uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> what is that? Ooh, right away, friends. We're going to go play the Cork City away. Yeah? yeah. They're right on our tails. They've, they've been keeping pace. I mean, it's a 14 point. I mean, keeping pace, but, you know. They've got 53 points versus 35 for the next club. That's There's 12 games left. That's 36 points. We're getting to the point where they can't catch us. We've already qualified for the Europa League, you'll notice. We're guaranteed fifth, lads. Nice work. Um, right. All right. That's we'll, we'll, we'll come right back for that. That's what we'll do. 
uh, last thing I'm going to share with you. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking at the end of the season, Ricky McPherson, time to go. Time to go. If we can get a million for him, I'd like to get 2.8. That'd be fun, freaking fantastic. But no one's coming in for him or anything. Um, because, because my friends, Thomas freaking Maloney is not full of baloney. <laughs> um, my, my Slaney. Um, he's got 20 starts, two goals, because that's what you want out of a center back. He's 18. He's already, he's got a cap, but he's not declared cap tied. But I mean, he, he doesn't have any other clubs. We played him in the Slovakia friendly, which we did win. I don't remember if I shared that. But he's on a 718 for Cork City. Now, I'm going to say he's part of the reason Cork City is doing so well. I'm just saying. As is James Lawless with his five starts. And is it Gary Walsh? No, he's at Bray. Um, we've got another. Wait. Oh, they're down here. I guess I moved him down here to get him out of the way. Uh, Terry Ward with his 18 starts on a 718. Thank you. S Stephen Coleman with his 14 starts. Why is he not match sharp? Did he? Mate, what's going on? Pulled calf muscle. That's why he's just coming off an injury. He's on a 713 with seven goals and three assists. Not bad. He's kind of the one like we want to just keep loaning him out, like help pump them up a little bit. Um, and then last but not least, we loaned out not to, we well, to St. Pat's, obviously, not to Cork City. Uh, just at the close of the window, Graham here for free. We're, we're paying his wages. A we'll, little we'll, we'll, we'll freebie. Um, Shelburne wanted him on a key player contract, and our report says that he is at a first division level, and he was like, nah. Nah, I want to go to St. Pat's on a rotation. I'm like, mate, you're going to get more games the other way, but whatever. I'm trying to, like, any exposure we can get him at our level, senior team minutes, I'm going to be okay with. So we're glad to pay that, I guess. So that's what we got going on, my friends. I'm pretty happy. Let's see. Has this gotten any better? Not really. Fantastic. Maybe we should play it a little bit in the league. That seems a great... Maybe we'll play it against Cork City. Maybe? That seems unfair. I, why would I want to do that? I, but we do need to work on it. Anyway, hit that like button. Cheers for Richie Carr. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.